The world without graffiti is very dull. If you don't want to look for it, then you need to wake up. What's this all about? Well, it's about exploring, getting out there, finding new things, new places, new people. That's what Destination X is about, but it can be anywhere. We're going to look for it in all sorts of places, different countries like Estonia, the US, France, close to the home and right here in London. That's where we're starting. In Graffiti Kings London, my London. Darren, we've got a man like G, Gasp and Mark, Mr. Mina. Just like myself, started on the, the vandalism side of it. That was the attraction for most of us at that age. This is where the graffiti career for myself started in 1983. We're nicking the crayons and the chalk. We're writing our names all over on the, on the floor and now we're taking the chalk out of the school, we're taking it over to the park. Croydon Church Street, outside what was the UK's first graffiti hip-hop store. Selling spray paint to every vandal in London until it uh, got unofficially closed down by the police. What was here before was the Croydon Power Station. Nothing around here, this was our playground. During the 80s, this place on the Pearly Way was just derelict, just abandoned warehouses, just like what you're still seeing today, covered in graffiti. Why? Because you need somewhere to paint. Okay, you see someone's been in here. Quite a few people have been in here. You could stand here all afternoon, practicing out of sight. Let's mess around. So here's what happened. In around about what, say early 2000, the colourful street art, known by Shepherd Ferry and Banksy and all them type of guys, they started painting colourful pictures. And brands started to realise that graffiti is what they really need to be tapping into because that's more authentic. If it wasn't for guys vandalising trains and walls, popular culture as today it wouldn't be like it is. It wouldn't be as colourful, it wouldn't be as, as vibrant as it is. Reason being because before graffiti on the streets, the only time someone would see art is by walking through an art gallery. And the only time you're going to walk past an art gallery is if you're living in an affluent area. And that was it. But again, it's not inspiring. Young kids don't want that. The kids want to rebel and do something. They're just fed up with the society that they're living in and the holes that they're in. If there's any person out there that doesn't like the fact that graffiti is going mainstream and you've got people going, oh, you can't do that, and Everything in your life changes, but you don't want graffiti to change. Ain't gonna happen. Everything changes. Got caught many a times uh, being young, and luckily, never got convicted. This is what everyone wants to do when they're that young. And uh, this is what we're doing now when we're getting that age when we can do it. And luckily getting paid for it and uh, creating greatness as well at the same time. One minute they're trying to arrest you, and now they're paying you to do it. It's crazy. Graffiti is everywhere now. Now, 2019, most people are being influenced and by street eyes. Hence why we're down here and everyone is painting a great piece of artwork rather than three o'clock in the morning looking over the shoulder on a train line. Hi guys, I'm Darren from Graffiti Kings, here with Destination X. We're going to take you on a journey exploring the world.